I think we have this, uh, I want to skip guys if you can to the interview with Katrina because I feel like we should give Katrina a little love tonight. Yeah, come on. Um, so what, you, what you're about to see, uh, you know, Katrina has been obviously <laughs> raising a child now, has a lot going on. Uh, she's been nominated for a bunch of awards for Belfast. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Amazing. Um, and she was able to participate in the, uh, in the premiere virtually from LA, and I got a chance to chat with her briefly. So what are you doing in London? Look, they let anybody in around here. Apparently. I mean, Jesus, can you boys not be apart for five minutes? <laughs> Katrina, it's so good to see you. It's so um, good to see you. So, okay, catch up the bands that are, have been lax. 30 seconds on the clock. What's happened with the first five seasons of Outlander? Let's just get right to oh, it. Oh, God, Josh. Um, it's early here. Um, <laughs> what's happened? A nurse at the end of the Second World War went on a second honeymoon to Scotland with her husband. She found a standing stone circle. She got transported 200 years back in time alone, met this dashing Highlander. They fell in love. They got married. Um, <laughs> Culloden and Preston Pans and all these wars were happening because the Jacobites were fighting the British. Uh, they were losing, so she got pregnant and he sent her back to protect the baby. She went back for 20 years, became a doctor. Her old husband died. Then she went back to find him. She found him. They fell in love again then her daughter came back they all lived happily ever after except they don't because this is outlander well you know it's early I mean, you know <laughs> so look i don't want to make this about me but i know last time we spoke you were talking about reading scripts from the new season season seven as you read the scripts does anything call out as appropriate for Josh Horowitz. You know, you, know, you say that. You, you, you say that. And actually, yeah, there's, there's kind of like this Quasimodo character oh, who, wow. <laughs> who's like that. trapped <laughs> in a tower. I, it, I mean, you'd be perfect. <laughs> we'll we'll call your that. agent. We'll get you yeah. to audition maybe a few <laughs> times. And uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm going to show our, our conversation here. I'm doing, of course, I'm doing an event with Sam in New York. Yes. He's a glutton for punishment. He can't get enough of me. Um, what are the, so the fans are out there, they're watching this right now. What do they need to know about working with Sam Hewen? The good, the bad, and the ugly. Uh -oh. It's time to tell all. I mean, you know, you have to keep food nearby because, you know, he gets hangry. The boy gets hangry. Very, you know. He's like, if you think of it like kind of like a three-year-old, like lots of fun, likes to run into things, hit things, and he needs snacks every 15 to 20 minutes. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. Katrina Balfe, everybody. What? Uh, <laughs> I mean, she was very rude to both of us there, to be yeah. frank. Like, I think it was very early there. <laughs> yes. Is it true? This is a 